Hey friends, Power Guy Rob Phoenix here. Hope you're all doing well. Um, it is Saturday, September 28th, um, 2024. It's been raining for the past few days. It's been kind of rainy and dreary, which I don't mind because we really didn't get much rain this year. So it's just nice to uh, get that. Um, it does make me a little ang anxious though, because there are a lot of leaves down. And so, because it's wet, and there are leaves down. It just kind of looks messy out there. And I really want to get that cleaned up. So I see that we're going to get um, some sunshine maybe next week on Thursday. Uh, looking forward to that so I can just get out there and clean it up. Um, <clears throat> it's weird, too, because we've had this recent explosion of tomatoes and green peppers in our vegetable garden. Those are the only plants left out there. Everything else we ripped out. Um so it's kind of nice and the tomatoes are just so much better this year than in previous years. Uh, so that's kind of a little special thing. I'm not sure how long that's going to last, but hmm, we'll enjoy it while we have it. Um, today uh, was just kind of like chores and such a day, but um, uh, I uh, anyway, I'm going off. I, I meant to have a healthy lunch. I wanted to make a salad for myself. But I was in the middle of doing laundry and I was just like not feeling like slicing and dicing. And so just on, I had this box of frozen um, bagel pizzas. They're like, looks like a half of a bagel. That's only like this big and it has pizza stuff on it. And I thought, well, I mean, I like pizza. I guess I'll try these. And uh, I put them in the, um, the Brava. It's like a toaster oven kind of situation we have. And I cook them terrible. There's... It is not it was not pizza at all but the funny part is it reminded me of a saturday night live sketch called almost pizza um so yeah it was like i felt like i had that experience today so if you if you just go you know on youtube and just search snl almost pizza that was basically my lunch today um but yeah they were called uh bagel pizzas or something yeah gross and it's it's not food it's not food at all i don't know what it was it was terrible i should have just made the salad um but anyway we are in the waning moon uh the dark moon comes um tuesday the first the new moon is wednesday the second of october um so it's a good time to clear stuff out get rid of stuff whatever um one of the things that has been on my mind lately has been my dreams. I've always been a kind of person that had a lot of dreams, like when I'm asleep, I mean, um, and a lot of nightmares. And so recently I've started sleeping in here. This is like my sanctum sanctorum. It's basically our home library, but it's also functions as my office. And it's where I do a lot of my, uh, like if I do ceremonial work or powwow work on my own, it's here in this room. Um, and I have all kinds of like, religious and protective wards around this space so i've started sleeping on the floor in here while playing um uh guided meditation videos and such with and it's been really good for me because first of all sleeping on the floor is so much better for my back than sleeping on our bed because our bed is a little bit too soft so when i'm sleeping on this wood floor there's not even carpet in here anymore i took it out um I just sleep so much better. Well, and the interesting thing too is as long as I have some sort of guided meditation playing, like it's been working itself into my dream. Like for example, one of them was the first night I did it, I had this um, this guided meditation playing and you can find them on YouTube and some of them are like 11 hours long and it's largely just music. And that's what I found that night. But then I guess it was only like six or seven hours and then it switched to another video where it was a man's voice speaking. And so all of a sudden I started dreaming that I was sitting with this older gentleman, almost like a professor in this, like a cafeteria kind of situation or a cafe. And he was talking to me, but he was saying what the voice on the tape was saying. And so in the dream, I was sitting in this chair and I was going into this sort of like deep relaxation and felt myself like leaving my body and such so it was just the uh, the most interesting experience i guess i've had like sleeping um but i recommend it so that night i did um 
well, I've done it the other nights too since then, but I'll do the the lesser banishing ritual because it's at night. Usually you invoke in the morning um, and just, you know, light up and make a sort of protective circle and say prayers and such and just lay flat on my back and close my eyes and listen to that. Um, and it does a really good job of like keeping away the nightmares and the strange dreams and just keeping my mind. Like I actually had two full nights of totally sound sleep and I went to sleep and I woke up and I felt super refreshed, no dreams, nothing bothering me or disturbing my sleep. Um, last night I was having a good night and here sleeping. I woke up cause I had to use the bathroom and I realized I was freezing. So I went into the bedroom it was around like four o'clock. I went into the bedroom just to like finish my night's sleep under the blankets. And uh, I started dreaming, you know, just having those same old nightmares and such. Um, the only book I have about dreams, you know, I have mixed thoughts about using dream journals and such. But I had this book. It's an old one from the 60s. It's called Dreams by Walter Gibson. Now, this is written in the 60s, but it's such a sign of the times, like pretty much everything they have in here has something to do with sexual urges or sexual dysfunction or like seriously everything like dream about a bedroom significant impulse for sexual implications um a bayonet the bayonet means fear of an opponent it is also a male sexual symbol like dream about the beach stands for sexual relations like everything in here is about that and like that's not that's not right balloons the balloon is a sex symbol like what a stupid book so anyway i think uh i think only we can interpret our own dreams um because a lot seems to be based on what like minor details from the previous day or conversations we might have had or maybe we watched like a movie or we're reading a book or something and elements of that work themselves into our dream, plus a lot of familiar elements. Um, I have a lot of things that I dream about constantly for years and years and years, the same themes and such. I and mean, I wish it would stop and I'm not sure how to change that. Uh, but anyway, it's a good time of year to start thinking about, you know, thinking about our dreams and interpreting them and such with and finding ways that we can make maybe like psychological changes within ourselves to maybe overcome that so i do believe that uh, especially the repetitive dreams like i have and the repetitive nightmares um have some deeper psychological root that i need to address uh but i also think too that under the right conditions we can avoid having those dreams and such and just be protected and safe and um, get a sound night's sleep. And that's what's been working for me. And I don't know if that's a, that's a, a method of me to avoid dealing with something or if it literally holds it at bay or, I mean, who knows? You could psychoanalyze yourself until you drive yourself crazy. <laughs> but um, anyway, so yeah, it's been uh, kind of interesting lately. I'm in the mood for Halloween. Uh, I love the fall. Um, Glad we're getting rain. Bill's downstairs making cookies as we speak. He's baking uh, chocolate chocolate cookies with peanut butter chips. And then we got a whole bunch of apples from a lady he works with who has orchards. So we're going to make, tomorrow we're going to make um, apple dumplings and an apple pie. Uh, looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, it's fall. It's a good time of year. It's a fun time of year to just be in the house and doing fall cozy things and thinking about your dreams and such and thinking about Halloween. So that's it. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all having a great weekend. Um, if you're in one of those places hit by the hurricane, like North Carolina, Tennessee, Florida, you know, Georgia and all that, please be safe. Uh, and that's it. God bless you guys. Love you. And we'll talk again soon. <laughs>